Good evening, church family. Good evening, coastal shores. Good evening, Cedars of Lebanon. All those that watch on watch us online. You know, we're in the midst right now of this COVID-19 uh, pandemic. And, and as you passed, I just wanted to give you some updates. I wanted to give you a devotional. I wanted to give you a devotional and some updates about what's going on, what's taking place uh, with the church. And so I, I just want to say, if you're feeling anxious right now, and we know that anxious... It means that you are afraid because you don't know what is coming or you're, or you are in a state of panic, which means that you are afraid because you know what is coming. So whether you're feeling anxious or whether you're afraid and panicking right now, just rest assured that God is in control. God is in control. This did not catch God off guard. Uh, he's not surprised by this pandemic. In fact, Jesus predicted this all in the Bible. All in the Bible. If you study your Bible in Matthew chapter 24, Jesus talks about these things happening before he comes back. So look at Matthew 24 for me. Look at Matthew 24. And I'm looking at the King James Version, the New King James Version. And you should always pray and ask for the Holy Spirit before you read to give you understanding. So Matthew chapter 24, the Bible says, oh, well, let's pray for us. Father God, we come to you in Jesus' name. Please forgive us for our sins. Please give us your Holy Spirit. Please give us understanding. I pray, Lord God, that it'll be your words and not my own. People will just hear your voice tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. So Matthew chapter 24, the Bible says, Then Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came up to show him the buildings of the temple, as if they were trying to impress him. They were more impressed with the buildings than they were with Jesus Christ, who was the epitome he, of the building. He was the glory of the building. It says, and Jesus said to them, do you not see all these things? He wasn't imp impressed with the building at all. He says, surely I say to you, not one stone shall be left here upon another that shall not be thrown down. This great big monument, the temple at Jerusalem. He says here, that one stone will not be left upon another. That probably blown the disciples to hear something like that. Probably blew their mind away. I'm sure they were perplexed, but Jesus was trying to get them to see it's not about that building, but it's about the God of the building. Just like church, we can't go into the church buildings right now, but it's not about that building. We don't need the building to have church because we are the church. And Christ lives in us. But he says the, that one stone will not be left upon another. Then verse 3 says, Now as he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately saying, Tell us, when will these things be? And what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? They asked, the disciples asked a dual question. When will these things be? When will this temple come down? And when will be the sign uh, uh, when are you coming back? What's the sign of your second second coming? So it's a dual part question, and Jesus gives them a dual answer. Gives them a dual answer. Because things that will take place before the temple comes down are the same, same things that will take place before Jesus Christ comes back. So listen to what he says in verse 4, Matthew 24, verse 4. It says, and Jesus answered and said to him, take heed that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name saying, I am the Christ and will deceive many. That's been happening and continues to happen. And verse six says, and you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. That's been happening, continues to happen. And verse seven, it says, for nation will rise up against nation. Sounds familiar. Kingdom against kingdom. It's been happening. And then listen to this verse. It says, And there will be famines and pestilence, is plural, and earthquakes in various places. Jesus knew that this pestilence will come. He knew that this COVID 19 will come. He knew about this. And is it man made? Yes, it's man made. How is it man made? Because of sin. Because of sin. We live in a sinful world. And these pestilence, these famines, 
All the things come upon us because of this sinful world that we live in. But Jesus says in verse 8, all these are the beginning of sorrows. This is just the beginning. But the good news is that we don't have to be anxious. We don't have to panic. Because this means that Christ is coming back soon. And we need to stay ready. And if we stay ready, we don't have to get ready. So let me tell you, tell you about these, these warnings. Um, I believe God is trying to warn us. When I was probably about 18 or 19, uh, one night, I don't know where I was coming from, but it was a, a summer night. Um, it was probably 10 o'clock, 10, 11 o'clock at night, Saturday night. You know, nothing good happens at that time. Um, but I'm headed home and I get to the front. Uh, the, I get to my block in the front of my building and, and I, I'm sitting, uh, one of my friends, he was outside. And I'm sitting outside with him and we're, we're talking, just, just, just catching up. And so out of the corner of my eye, I see one of my friends named, named Israel. And uh, he runs, he's in the front, he runs from the corner of the store and he's running full speed, full speed, 10 o'clock, 10, 11 o'clock at night. And he runs clear across the basketball court, full speed. And so about 20 to 25 yards behind him, there was a police officer. And a police officer is chasing him at full speed. This was over 20 years ago, full speed. And so what does this police officer do? He pulls out his gun. He raises it in the air and he shoots twice. Bah, bah. And what do they call that? They call that warning shots. They call it warning shots. The warning shots are there to allow you to know what's coming next, to give you a chance to turn around and stop doing what you were doing. So that's what that was. That was a warning, warning shots. But Israel, he just kept running and kept running. And the policemen kept chasing him, kept chasing him. And family, I believe that, that Jesus, he's given us warning shots. These are warning shots from God to let us know he is coming back soon. So we have to be ready. And how, do we, how are we ready? We accept Christ into our heart as our Lord and Savior. You don't have to be in the church building, but you come to church building the fellowship to hang out with other like-minded people so that you can grow together. But you can accept Jesus Christ where you at right now. Accept that he died in your place for your sins. But he's not just there to save you. He wants to be your Lord. Lord meaning that now you live your life the way he wants you to live your life. Which some of us have issues with. So God has given warning shots. But let's, let's not do what Israel did and keep running. Let's make sure we stop. Stop and surrender our lives. To Jesus. And the crazy thing about this, this whole thing is that Israel is, is odd that his name was Israel, right? All right, just like Israel in the Bible running from God. Israel, even though he heard the, the warning shots, he kept running. And the officer kept running after him. And I believe that's what God does with us. A lot of us are running right now. We're socially isolated and we're still too busy to pray. We're still too busy to spend time with our families. And we haven't left the house all day. Now's the time. Listen to the warning shots. And surrender. Yes, God will keep running after you. He will. He will keep running after you. But eventually it's going to come a time where he's just going to, it's going to be all over. So please listen and take heed to the warning. Amen. Amen. So I just want to give some updates about what's going on with church. Yes, we are closed temporarily. We don't know exactly when our church doors will be open. Cedars of Lebanon, coastal shores. But we know God is in control. And I do believe that some good will come out of this. For we know that adversity is the, 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 the breathing ground for opportunity. So we know that God is in control and he's doing something. He's working something. I believe this will draw us closer somehow, some way. 
I believe that the latter rain is falling right now. And because of this, it's going to cause a lot of us to run to Jesus. But I just want to give you some updates. So we do have a prayer line that's every day. The number is below. And make sure you subscribe to my to this YouTube channel, Kenan Tyler. But the number is below. And we have a prayer line three times a day, 5 a.m. 5 a.m. I'm there in the morning, 5 a.m. 1130, our prayer warriors is there. 7 o'clock, our prayer warriors is there. So we have three opportunities for you to pray. Pray, and it's power when you pray together. So make sure you call that prayer line. And I know some have you, some of you have had problems getting on the prayer line, but we will get another one soon. But for right now, that's the prayer line. Please try your best to get on it. And then for Sabbath mornings, Sabbath mornings, we're working on doing a, a, a trying to get Sabbath school on a, some type of a video conference call. Uh, but we're working on that. Prayerfully, we'll have that next week. And then every Sabbath right here on this YouTube channel, or, or, or my YouTube channel right here, uh, I will do a devotional, live devotional on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you tune in. That's every Sabbath morning. And then, and then also, also I just want to encourage everybody, um, online giving. Make sure you stay and remain faithful. Do you still trust God in the midst of this pandemic? For Coastal Shore, Cedars of Lebanon, make sure you go to online giving. Find your church, find Cedars, find Coastal. And make sure you are faithful in returning your tithe. Because that's a part of worship. In the Old Testament, they did not come to worship without a sacrifice. In the New Testament, they gave everything. They gave everything. So make sure you're still being faithful. Now, also, just want to let you know a little bit about this, this YouTube channel. You're going to see some more things. Come on here. Uh, you see some videos about Daniel, looking at the book of Daniel and Revelation. You see some devotionals on that. We'll drop some. Uh, we'll drop some maybe one or two a week um, until this pandemic is over. You see some on relationships. Uh, we'll, we'll drop some as well. Uh, some on motivation. So, so please just make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. But church, we're going to get through this. God is with us. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. We are going to get through this. God is with you. If you haven't put your trust in God, now is the time. If you have not given your heart to Christ, do it today. Do it today. God bless you.